Hello and welcome back to Station Ears. I'm Mick and today we're getting started on the moon. Now the moon is what I'd like to think is probably the second hardest after Mars, uh, purely because uh, although you don't have storms to worry about here, you don't have an atmosphere in which to get uh, any gases from. So uh, it's pretty much the same as Mars in its start out. The only difference is, is you don't have carbon dioxide for your greenhouse, so you will have to capture that somewhere else. This is the first time we've actually had to capture gases from one place to use somewhere else. So this is the first time we've had linked systems. Here we can't just get everything we need. I suppose you can get just get some CO2 from your gas, your waste tank, but um, uh, that's okay for a few small plants. Here, if you've got a decent greenhouse, it takes a bit more. So um, we'll get ourselves a better source of carbon dioxide than that. But as with Mars, first thing up, well, you've got the big shiny thing in the sky, and I can see what I'm doing. I'll go do a bit of mining. Right, we've got what we need, some iron, a few spare ones there, because you always need them pretty quickly. Oh, I've got a handy little storage spot. Don't drop your ice. I probably don't need to empty all that stuff out. That'll quite happily sit there now. Um, now, once again, it'll be similar sort of build up as we did with Mars. And um, yeah, so the base will start out just with a small area where we'll be putting our, um, let's see if I can get my fridge going this time and save our mushrooms. Um, so we shall need our frames. I uh, should put down a similar one as I say we did on Mars. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you face it east or west on you can put a greenhouse on either the north or the south, the sun goes directly over overhead. So you get the same exposure north or south. So um we should build it up. Uh, which way are we going? That's south. Oh earth is in the north. That doesn't sound right. But you know, these things happen. So if I build up a similar setup to what we had on Mars. We've got to get our solar panels up. Whoops, push the right buttons. If we go something like that, and plenty of room for our for our other bits and pieces. Right, that'll do us. Yeah. Oh, no, I shall straight up drop you into there and you're going. Small ones can go into there for now. Right, power is up. So next up we want to get our production happening. Oh, down our gas generator as well. Turn you around. You can go in that way. Right, just to get it out of our packet pockets. The sooner we clear out all this junk, the better. Uh, so, if I want the doors, uh, if I want the plastic, water lays, there we go. And the arc furnace. And. Another battery. Right, some doors, done. Uh, auto lathe, boop, arc furnace, done. Boom, arc furnace up. Uh, so, straight up, we'll want some iron going. Uh, if we can get it in the hole. Want the microwave? That's better. Oh, done. Drop it down. Is it locker? Good out. Go in there. Another locker out here. 
I'll keep tidy. Not that anything's going to blow away, mind you, but we'll keep tidy anyway. How are you doing? We've got our iron. Thank you. We'll grab some. Oh, I'll bring enough copper. That should be enough. Now, I shall want some sheets. So as I can finish the hothouse. There we go. On. That'll do us. Give me that. And we want to build a pipe bender. All right, we're all sealed. Come on. Before we close the door, let's bring you inside. Got where in time? Pipe bender. Pipe bender is up. Yep. Pipe bender is up. Can we grab an electronics? We're out of copper. All right, screwdriver. You're up. Now if I can grab a vent. We can finish our airlock. Oops. We have enough cables. That'll be the trick. One of them. Some pipes. There's my pipes, there they are. Right, the airlock is done. We should be sealed. I just need power to that, and it should be good. Um, right, power will have to come in there. Now we have no atmosphere on the outside, so I don't need to purge anything, so just a single vent is good enough for the moon. Done. Close you up now, as we did on Mars. I can just drop some oxide right here. That's not going to melt in here because it is a vacuum. We can just uh, open our gas, our waste canister. That should give us enough temperature in here to start melting the oxide. Or not. If not, we can easily just uh, give a bit of gas out of this, and these ones should melt for us. Really? Right, now they're melting. As soon as we got one kilopascal, we're good. So I shall switch that back off and save my bottled oxygen, and I can. Just start dropping these things. Uh, about 20 of them should be enough. As long as 
as I get above 20 kilopascals, I should be pretty safe in here. It's almost pure oxygen. Right, this room is safe. I should be able to open my visor now if I unlock it. And I'm safe, I'm breathing. And I get myself a drink. Fix that problem. Uh, something to eat. Good, and we are set with an environment in here now. Once again, we can't refill the drink bottles, but we'll get to that. Uh, but we have a spot we can open a visor. We're good to go. Once again, it's not powered. We do have to micromanage it as we go. Remember to close your visor. Right. Eyes it up. Just suck it. Suck all the oxygen back into the other room, and we're good to go. Oh yeah. Now, as with Mars, we're going to make a make a run straight for steel. All right, electronics printer, which means we shall want some solar panels. Once again, the solar access on the moon is very good. So it's, uh, it's quite likely that that's going to be your primary power source. And the sun does pass directly overhead. So you, you don't even need dual axis tracking here. So it is very simple for power. It is plentiful. And a couple of simple solar panels will do the trick for you. Not a problem. So once again, we're just going to phase one to morning, one to midday, one to night, as we did on Mars. And that'll be more than enough print power to keep us going early game. I still have batteries in my tools if I need get desperate for them. But I don't think I'll have to break out my generator once again. Three percent, two percent. That is our solar panels hooked up. We are good to go, just waiting for morning now, and we're home and hosed. I might have to break that one in. 24% we're still going. Right, um, we just need some daytime. No point printing out any wind turbines here. And it looks like sunrise is just about here. Looking at the... the, the uh, the light on the Earth is a very handy clock to have on the have on the Moon. You don't have that on the on Mars, so uh, yes, we can see from the from the light there that the sun is just about on the horizon. There, it is almost morning. We're good to go. Uh, so we'll get we looks like we are charging. We've got green lights there. That's right. We don't get a sunrise, do we? The sun just pops over the horizon. Now we are good. We want a uh, we want a furnace. Because that is going to be the source of our gases on the moon. So we want the furnace because that is a lot easier to catch the gas uh, from a furnace than it is than trying to put a room room around the arc furnace. Not you. Uh, fine and copper. I just did it. Okay, got everything running and those basic solar panels are enough to charge the batteries and run everything at the same time. So we're doing all right well, until we build a heap of extra stuff anyway. Uh, you're done, that'll help us charging everything up. Although I'll probably just switch it back on again and uh, do some more. Right up. Boop, furnace done. Now, I shall grab you. Grab the pipes, that is the output. Event. I 
Oop, we're done. Alright, photo setup. Uh, now it's daytime. You just got to be careful handling handling the oars. Now let's do something about this battery while we're here. So now I shall need some iron and some coal. I did stick some more iron in my ore hole. Yeah, I did a bit of mining while we were waiting for everything to print out, so we're doing pretty good now. And once again, a, a hole in the ground is a very nice place to keep everything. If we're making steel, we may as well grab a few other things because we're going to need it. Uh, all right, gold, 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 more copper. Right. Now, as always, first up for steel. Um, now, handling the ore in the sun can be a little tricky. You see they are once again melting in your hand. If you're quick, you can get away with it. It's a bit easier than it is on Mars. Uh, oxide. In it goes. Fire, we're good. Plenty of heat. Uh, in with you. In with you. You. And you. Oh, we're too cold, are we? We're too cold, right? So we're going to have to fire it again. Oh, we're good. There's our steel. Once again, as always, while we got heat, rather than burning our power to smelt this stuff, let's just run it through here, particularly the gold first. That one takes the longest to do. And then we'll chuck the copper through. It's too cold to do the silicon. But the copper and the gold can most certainly go through. Which means the silicon's probably going to have to go through this one while we're waiting. I could even get the iron through there if I'm quick. Can I get the other one through? No. <laughs> oh well. You go through the other one then. That's the end there. We've got 12 megapascals of gas in there. We'll keep hold of that. We can let it cool down because that will come in handy. We'll need that later on. Now we are going to go straight to our battery. So I want you with the iron, the copper and the gold we just did. And we're going to grab ourselves a station battery. Uh, there it is. As before, one of them, the transformer and two heavy cables. Right, now our transformer will be coming in 
for there, so it's coming into the heavy cable. Put our heavy cable there, and our battery can join in there. Switch on. Turn you up. This will allow us to run the generator without burning out or without having to upgrade all those cables to heavy cables. Because that will cost us some gold. And although we've got a fair bit of it at the moment, uh, I'm just being cheap. Because gold will come in handy. We need it for a lot of things. And we're charging. Battery is up. Right, so that is good. We have that one. I'll take you. Thank you very much. And all is good from there. Now we can move them around and um, stop draining them. I can change you off to there and get you out of here. Uh, we'll put that in there. Yeah, it's facing the wrong way, but I can live with that. Um, ice crusher. Uh, put you there. And the bottle filler can go there. And face the wrong way. Come on. Nope. There we go. Right. Pipe. Ah, uh, haven't got enough pipes, have I? Come on, that one. Yeah, I need one more pipe. And some sheets. Well done, well done. And of course, we shall need an outlet for the... Right, so we'll try again. Oops. Remember to close your helmet. Well, well done. Oh, 70 degrees. Hot, 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 hot. Uh, cables. Right, you're done. Um, right, and you. Wow. That's some ugly wiring. All right, there we have our water bottle, water bottle filler, and our ice crusher. Once again, some ice. It's just venting all the nitrogen into the room here. That's fine. It's not going to bother us. It'll also keep the keep the room cool. Uh, they just watch. You. Don't do it too much there. It's going to kill all your plants. That'll give us some water, and we're good to start filling our bottles again. So uh, that's our next problem taken care of. Top it up while we're here. Grab some food. And we are good. Close my helmet this time. Um, we're not that good for power, so let's keep switching things off. So water's done. Power is done. Um, next up, I guess gas tank's still going pretty good, so we'll see how we go. Uh, well, we could get a refrigerator up now, couldn't we? Look after our precious eggs. Because we don't actually want... Um, 
we don't don't want our food because we know we've got an oxygen atmosphere in there. All our food's going to start going rotten. So we'll put up a refrigerator, and that will be our next our next item taken care of. Is our our uh, chickens? Because what's a space base without chickens? That's just weird. Next, switch on. And we still have them. Mushrooms, still good. Oh, they're almost dead. <laughs> well, guess we better get one out, hadn't we? And all the seeds I shall put away and get rid of this stupid thing because it's going to kill someone very quickly. And uh, be gone, you horrible thing. Right. Become a chicken. Now we shall need some food for the chicken. Um, so, you, yeah, it's 14 degrees in there. It'll warm up. It'll warm up. I hope that chicken doesn't die. Um, these crates, what are they good for? Yeet. Um, right. Now yeah, we wanted hydroponics, our water bottle. Uh, do I want the scrubber? No, probably not. So I shall want some flares. degrees, 14 degrees, we should be good. Uh, rice, wheat, put down them, put in a good old potato, there we go, we're going to have some corn, chooks like corn, uh, 16 degrees, we'll be good. And Chuck will be happy. We have saved them. And right. Unfavorable lighting, that's okay. It's night time. Right, next on our agenda. We have power. Uh, so, we shall want a tank to capture that gas, and we'll use that to fill our jetpack. Uh, so, we shall want a tank. Uh, we don't, don't need an insulated tank, because we want it to cool down. Uh, copper and steel. <laughs> I got a trick. Woohoo! Did you eat that corn? Whoa, what's wrong? Is it cold? It's cold in here. Damn. I think it'll be you, isn't it? Yes. 
Now I find on Beta Branch at the moment they're changing the changing the bottle filler there. So you can only fill bottles if it's between I think uh, 50 and 5 degrees there. So when you've crushed your crushed your ice in your tank, you're going to have to bring it inside, probably in an uninsulated tank, and get it to cool down inside the room or get up to room temperature. So uh, yeah. Having it inside is a handy way of maintaining the temperature in there. So I might actually grab, if I can, a, um, a radiator on there to help regulate it with the room temperature. Oh, another egg. Have something to eat before you poop yourself to death. But don't you like rice? Well, oh, well, you're a fussy eater. Right now, eventually we are going to want to have to fill our jet pack, and we're both going to want some more CO2 to put in the greenhouse. We may as well do both at the same time. Now, a furnace does have a fair bit of CO2 in it. It also has a heap of other nasty crap in there that we probably don't want. So um, a fair bit of pollutants in there. If we try and use our jet pack inside, if we fill it with that, try and use it inside, that's not going to go well. And um, you can't just empty that straight to the greenhouse or it's going to poison the plants. So I think we'll hook up a um, atmospherics kit uh, as such with a filtration unit and we will filter out just the carbon dioxide. We'll keep that and uh, get rid of everything else. So we shall turn you around uh, say that way. It's going to be untidy no matter which way I do it. Put you there. I'll put a tank there to capture everything uh, there. And then I can put a pressure regulator on that to blow everything out from there. And I can put a tank filling stand in there. Um, like that. And a spare tank in there just for the sake of it. So um, I shall need a vent, a passive vent to get rid of the crap. Um, some CO2 filters and we should be good to go. And you, come on, there we go. We'll still have our, our vents there to uh, get rid of any of the junk and uh, just to make sure things keep cooling down after we've got it all, we can whack a couple of couple of radiators on there to let it all, all the heat dissipate into space. Uh, so we need some filters and um, some cables to hook it up. So filtration unit for CO2. Done. Uh, tank. We just need power and we're good to go. We're good to go. So now I can set that to whatever pressure I want my jetpack to refill at. So if I take that to 5 megapascals, should be good. And I can switch you on. And straight from there I should just be able to switch you on. Now that should be venting all the waste gas out of there. And all the stuff we want, the CO2, should be coming into here. So there's the CO2 we want. Our jet pack is filling up with CO2, or we can take that into there. It's still hot at the moment there, but the radiators will allow it to cool down. And it is all being vented out of there. So that's the jet pack solved. So we have power solved. We have food solved. We have our chicken survives. And we shall just go in there and check on you, make sure you're okay. Whoa! Nicely done. You're really popping out these things, aren't you? 
Oh, you don't like corn? You too good for corn? Um, whoa, cold, 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 cold. Uh, that'll warm us up again. The ice in the tank is still cold. That's starting to warm up, so that should be stabilising quite nicely now. Uh, just got to make sure our plants survive. We're 16 again. We're back in our growing zone, so we're good. Still hot. We have five megapascals in there. That is still hot, but cooling down. We have a megapascal of CO2 in there. We should be fine. We'll survive. Now that's taken care of you. Oh yeah, you're empty now. So um, we've got our CO2 under control. Uh, so that is the only, really the only thing that we were lacking that we had on Mars in the atmosphere. But now we've got a source of CO2. Not a problem. From there we just need a way of filling our uh, welder and we're good to go. Once again we'll do that exactly the same way that we did that on Mars. And there we have our fuel system. So we have an ice crusher. Now the oxide does have nitrogen in it so we do put the filter in it to separate out the nitrogen which will blow out and the oxygen goes into the storage tank. Uh, the hydrogen or volatiles are just hydrogen so they can go straight in the tank, don't need to be filtered. And once again they go to a mixer. Uh, we set the mixer, input is hydrogen, oxygen's input 2, so input 2 should go to 30, 33, and that is our gas fuel mix of 2 to 1. Uh, so that is good for refilling our welder and that is that one taken care of. So now I can just drop all my ice into there, uh, oxide and volatiles, which should give me uh, hydrogen into there, which we have, and oxygen into that one there, which we have. Once again, we're on the moon, so we can get away with using uninsulated tanks, save us a lot of silicon. All right, so that is pretty much all of our survival taken care of. We have our power. We have our food and our water, we have our welder, we have our furnace, we have our gas, we can make carbon dioxide, our chicken's coming along quite happy, we haven't started an infestation yet, um, but here we go. That's how you make eggs come out. I know all about chickens. And a corn as well. Eat. Uh, 22 degrees in there. We have starting to stabilise our temperature. That must mean that our water has uh, warmed up. Air yeah, water's 15 degrees now, so that'll hold our room pretty, pretty stable in temperature. And you are an egg-laying machine there, my chook. How are your friends going? Oh, they're still there. You're about to explode, though. You might be an only child. Uh, rather than that, our food is coming along nicely. I, oh, I never ate my potato. That'd be a waste. Um, right, water, food. Uh, as I say, in the upcoming my changes to beta, where the water has to be at room temperature before we can use it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, handy to have your, your water inside in your room environment now as well. Um, so no doing that outside anymore. Uh, so other than that, we are all good in here. Our power is good. We've got to chuck some coal in it. We're at the point now where we can sort of suddenly just build up a uh, heap more solar power. The solar, solar is probably going to be your primary source of power here. Now, Minimus will play out pretty much exactly the same as the moon because um, uh, it's, it, it's because it's in a vacuum. The only difference you have here is there's less solar, solar power. So um, other than that, it's exactly the same. You just, you'd put up, a heap more solar panels and um, 
and then proceed with everything else exactly the same. Uh, so uh, that is the moon. We are full set for survival. We can start building whatever luxury items we want now. We have taken care of our essentials. Uh, now the thing in any survival sit there is very easy to get distracted by all the things you can do because there's an awful lot of things you can worry about automating. So I've done no automation at this stage and uh, I've got my survivals taken care of. So now if anything goes catastrophically wrong, um, well, I, I can take as long as I want now to start building fancy advanced furnaces that are all automated, uh, start putting up some solar tracking on our solar panels and start building up a fancy airlock. I mean, I've got the bits in there. I haven't actually switched it on yet. And um, and from there, but as long as there's a bit of micromanagement involved with it now, but we have got our food going. Not a problem. Our chook's happy. Uh, our food's growing. We've got our own food. We've got our water. We've got all of our needs taken care of. So um, that's basically all there is to the moon. As I say, Mars is probably that little bit easier by having an atmosphere where you can harvest the carbon dioxide. Here you've got to go that extra one step there to get it out of the furnace. But now we've got all the CO2 we'll need uh, as long as we just keep using the furnace. Um, so that's about it for today. So till next time, happy building. See ya.